Hey everyone, my name's Alan, and I'm here to talk about Android Enterprise Work Profiles when enrolling into Intune. I'm going to go through the user experience and some of the benefits for the user and the company. So let's crack on. So this is my personal device, it's various social media applications and browsers. So now we need to open the Play Store and search for Company Portal. Company Portal is the Intune application to manage the device. I've already got it installed, just to save some time, so let's open it. Uh, once we've opened it, it's now going to ask us to sign in with our corporate credentials. This is a Azure AD account. Uh, this could be the same as your logon username password or could be slightly separate depending on how your organization has configured it. Once we're signed in it's then going to tell us what it requires to set up. This includes creating the work profile on the Android device, um, then activating it with Intune and Azure AD and then updating configuration. It then goes on to the privacy settings which we'll go through later um, and then tells us what exactly it's going to do next. So it's going to encrypt the phone and give permission to the work profile. So now it's asking us to accept the creation of the work profile. So now it's creating it, so it's separating an area of your phone um, that is encrypted for the work content. Um, this can take a little while depending on the device. Now it's going to launch a company portal app that is stored in the work profile. So the next bit is to activate. So what it's doing here is going to Azure AD join the device, the work profile, and Intune manage it. Um, this can take some time depending on connectivity and the device. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad with my phone this time around. And that's it. So it's all set up. So now let's have a look at what it looks like. So if you go into your menu, um, you have a personal side and if you scroll to the right you have a work side. This can vary depending on which version of Android and the manufacturer of the phone. Uh, Samsung do this slightly differently. So we've just gone into the Manage Play Store app. This is all the applications that the company um, allow you to install in the work profile. Uh, so you can have Google Maps, you can have the standard Office applications. Um, so what it does is you now have two versions of, of the maps. So the best way to show you this is to put it onto my desktop. So let's just drag it over. So what you'll see is the Google Maps um, work version is got a little logo next to it. Another cool feature is uh, sometimes it's up here already, but the work profile button. So what this does is it can turn off and on the profile. So if you were on annual leave, you can turn off all your notifications and synchronizations. So you don't have to worry about work or seeing that email. Um, and to turn it back on, you just click an application or click that button. It asks you to turn it on. It will then ask for your device's pin or password um, to then reactivate it. There we go, it's just um, changed. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the benefits you get with this Android work profile. So one I showed you earlier was that you could turn on and off the work profile uh, to help with work-life balance. So it stops people getting notifications when they're on annual leave. Um, another benefit is that the IT department are unable to see your personal photos or your contacts. If I bring up the screen we've seen earlier, um, the top part shows you what, you what the IT department can't see. So they can't see your passwords, your personal applications installed. Um, what they can see is things like the make, model and version of Android. And of course, their work applications that they've requested to be installed in the work profile. So if we move on to some of the benefits that, of the IT department, um, they're able to secure that work profile to meet security standards. Um, and any applications within that work profile can share information um, without it leaking into the personal side. How cool is that? Okay, so let's take a look at a remote wipe from Intune. 
with this work profile. So as you can see, I've still got all my work and personal applications. I'll send a wipe now. At the top, you'll see some notifications just buzzing by and all my work applications have disappeared. Um, so it's now back to just personal. All my information is still there. And as you can see, Android stating that the work profile has been deleted. So now the organization doesn't have any control over my phone, but it's still got all my personal information. How cool is that? So that takes us to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and put any comments below. If you want to see any more videos by myself or colleagues at Identity Experts, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys soon. Experts by your side. Identity Experts.